space. Running low on fuel and now in the dark. We also discovered that the plan of the evil villain virus was to destroy all the Bibles in the universe. What's going to happen? Will the crew find a way to get home? Will virus destroy all the Bibles? Let's watch. Nothing in the Bible has ever been proven to be false. But some people simply refuse to believe. Yeah, like Mr. Malone. Think about what an amazing book it is, written by 40 different authors across 1,500 years, and yet it reads as though it were written by one person. And that's because God wrote it. Yep, and then think about what an amazing impact it's had on the world. Wait, it has? Oh, sure. It's had an amazing influence on, on all sorts of areas, such as science and medicine, and literature and history and music, and so many other areas. I could go on and on. Wow. I guess I really haven't been paying attention. That makes two of us. But the reason it's had such an influence is because it's influenced people. People like George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, William Wilberforce, and Bach, and Handel, and Shakespeare, Charles Dickens. And Isaac Newton. Wait, Isaac Newton? I love Isaac Newton. Well, I prefer Fig Newtons myself. <laughs> but Sydney, the biggest reason by far why the Bible is so important to me is because it opened my eyes and showed me that I am a sinner and that my only hope of escaping the wrath of God was through the death and resurrection of his son, Jesus Christ. I will never get out over how he poured his love out for me. Wow. And I've been trading it just like the guidebook you gave me. I left it on the shelf. But it doesn't have to be that way. Hey! Hey, something's happening! Wait, did he fix it? <laughs> Way to go, Turo. You're the man. Man, I am not a man. I am autonomous humanoid robot. <laughs> okay, okay. Don't get your wires crossed. It was just an expression. Sorry. He gets moody when his batteries are low. You think? Let's see. Oh, Turbo. Yeah, you're really low. We better get you recharged. Come on. Okay, I am feeling very tired all of a sudden. Oh, great! Now we're gonna have to carry him out of here. He weighs a ton! Oh, it's no use. Let me try. Oh. <laughs> And what do you feed him? Bowling balls? <laughs> Can't you just plug him in or something? Oh, I hadn't thought of that. Well, all I need is a seaport. I think there is one of those behind the console. Oh. Here we go. <laughs> So, uh, how long is he going 
already sitting here, you know, it's kind of creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I guess I can try the rapid charge. Let's see. Yes. Please do. <laughs> Let's check our fuel situation. Yeah, that's about right. The higher velocities of not only propel us deeper into space, but we use more fuel as well. I'm sorry, sir. That's my fault. Captain! Captain, I'm getting a signal of some sort. Really? Perhaps it's another spaceship. Put it on screen. Hi, Captain. Wow, that's a funny looking spaceship. <laughs> that's because it's not a spaceship. It's a space station. A space station? That's even better. Hey, I wonder if they have a food court, because I'm starving. <laughs> well, what are we waiting for? Not so fast. Something looks odd. It looks to be completely deserted. Oh, who cares? One small step for mankind, one giant slice of pizza for my belly. Drake! <laughs> no, it's not the time you're thinking of food. And Captain, we can't just stand here. Well, hold on a minute, Cadet. Something's not right. Perhaps this is the space station that was shut down for safety reasons several years ago. Clark, open communications. Let's see if anybody's over there. Hi, Captain. Hailing <coughs> frequencies are now open. This is Captain Scott of the Starship Intrepid. We come to you in peace. Do you read? This is Captain Scott of the Starship Intrepid. Please come in. Uh, there's no response, sir. Okay, let's scan for signs of life. Hi, Captain. Um, it appears to be deserted, but I can't be sure. But the life support systems are functioning. So the lights are on, but nobody's home. Sounds safe enough to me. <laughs> That's what I was afraid of. What do you mean, Captain? I believe this is the space station that was shut down. I heard rumors of a weapon on board so powerful that it could change the course of human history. We very well may have stumbled across it, and if we have, it may be too dangerous for us to board. But, Captain, we are quickly running out of fuel. This space station could very well have the extra we need to get us home. Perhaps you're right, Captain. But we must proceed cautiously. I will feel much safer if we run a full systems diagnostic on the safe space station first, and that will take at least Five hours. Oh. oh, looks like somebody's waking up. Hey, that didn't take long. Must have been a turbo charge. Get it? Turbo charge? <laughs> turbo, I'd like you to sit on the bridge and watch the monitors. The crew and I are going to go get a few hours of sleep. Yes, Captain. I'm running a full system diagnostic on the space station. If anything comes up, this red light will come on. I want you to watch the red light, and if it comes on, I want you to come to my cabin and notify me immediately. Do you understand? Yes, Captain. I am to watch the red light, and if it comes on, I am to notify you immediately. No matter what happens, Turbo, do not take your eyes off the red light. Do you understand? Yes, Captain. I will not take my eyes off the red light. I really hope I'm standing close enough to see if the light comes on. <laughs> Heavens to Murgatroyd! This was just too easy. <laughs> I'm about to become the most powerful person in the world, and there's no one here to stop me! <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh, it's, it's only you. What are you doing? I am watching the red light. If the red light comes on, I am to notify the captain immediately. Do you think you can see it? I mean, are you close enough? That is what I was afraid of. 
there will be no need to notify the captain. Red light or no red light. My ultimate plan has been set into motion. Once the crew entered their cabins, I locked all the doors. And now I will take the ship, fly it over to Space Station Delta, find the bibliotastic Bible-blasting radar, bring it back to the ship, attach it to the ship's computer, which will accurately coordinate the location of all the Bibles in the universe. And then all I will have to do is push the button and poof, they will all be gone and I will rule the universe. I do not think the captain will be pleased with you moving the ship before he has finished the diagnostic test. <laughs> oh, I think the captain's going to be unhappy about a lot of things. But by the time he realizes he's locked in his room, I will be on the space station getting the ray gun. Thralls, come to the console. Take your places. All stations stand by. Computer. How may I be of assistance? Take us to Space Station Delta. Engage automatic docking sequence. Engaging automatic docking sequence. We will be arriving. <laughs> Excellent. Goodbye, Turbo. Keep your eye on the red light. I must go get my things, and I won't be coming back. Come, my thralls, follow me. 